Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here with a fascinating little book. This is a best-selling author, Thomas Cahill, and he wrote The Desire of the Everlasting Hills, and it's about Jesus Christ. Now, New York Times bestsellers, I think they were, like how the Irish saved civilization, the gift of the Jews, and then he writes about Jesus Christ. And it's fascinating reading through it because you can tell that he's trying to be even-handed with Muslims, with Jews, with non-believers and all of this, and trying to say, how did this guy, who was a Jewish carpenter, who is a fact of history, change the world unlike anybody else? Now, as a Christian, I might not agree with all of his conclusions. But it is fascinating for somebody to take a look at what I would consider a secular look at Jesus Christ and in a positive way. Now, again, I don't agree with all of his conclusions. I don't agree with all of his premises. I would be far more conservative in understanding and theology and what I feel like is the truth of the matter and what is the truth of the matter, what the facts lead us to. But again, it's somebody he's not attacking Jesus. He's not mad at Jesus, it doesn't appear. He's just saying, okay, who is he? Who's, what can we almost all agree on except for some fringe folks that you know would try to say Jesus didn't exist and stuff. What could, what, who was this guy and what was the effect? And so it makes for fascinating reading. Page Turner, um, this is a funerary portrait. Uh, which is interesting. These were all around the ancient world in the time of Jesus. I thought some of the photos in his photo section were very interesting to me. It kind of gives you a look at archaeology and this kind of stuff. This is early Christian art. Because we've got a lot of that down in the catacombs in Rome and in other places. There's actually Sabellian catacombs. I've actually got the book of the inscriptions of Sabellian catacombs. Which just means they were the original. Jesus is the good shepherd. So, you know, just all kind of neat stuff. Again, I don't agree with all of his conclusions, maybe not most of his conclusions, but it has the uh, national bestseller, New York Times book review, says rare and inspiring and stunning success. Philadelphia Inquirer, uh, Marcus Bur Borg, of course, Luke Timothy Johnson recommends it. So this is something that is an interesting book and Maybe things like this can enter into the consciousness of people and they know Jesus is a, a stellar figure of history and then the next wave they have an understanding and revelation that he's a one true God and they'll all come to him, receive his spirit, get baptized in his name and spend eternity with him. It's 2017. Let's have revival in Jesus' name.